this collaboration has it all. Exploration, artistic differences. Celebration. Frustration. Fear. And mess. Please enjoy the video. I wanted to see if my daughter and I could collaborate to make fine art. This was a real challenge to me artistically because I had to let go of my control and follow the lead of a toddler. The challenges of parenting really presented themselves in this painting session. I wasn't expecting to have so many teachable moments for myself as well as Ava. This was a great exercise for me as a parent. It forced me to set expectations, hold boundaries, and affirm my daughter's creativity. Probably a lot of other things I'm not putting into words. Let's start with paint. And then, did you go to your room? Yeah. And then we'll do glitter last. I want this. Which color? You like this palette? Yeah. Okay, let's stick with that for now. We were both in kind of a mood on this day. And I thought the painting together like might the... turn things around for us. Listen, like, I see myself being frustrated with Ava in this footage, and I'm, I obviously have taken a step back. Um, it's easier to see it, but I am disappointed with myself for not having as much patience as I usually do. It's easy to beat yourself up when you're looking back oh. on your parenting in a video, you, you and I'm not closer. really trying to do that My arms as much as learn is from this we're going to paint on the paper, right? Not on the map. Okay? We're going to paint on the paper. Listen, we're going to paint. Look. Hey! Hey, hey. Look, we're going to paint on the paper. On the cup. Not on the map. You're not listening. You got a clue? Yeah. Okay, I'm closer to the paper so you can paint on the paper. Look at this color in here. As an artist, it was great for me to follow Ava's lead. Toddlers are experimenting all the time, and I feel like artistic experimentation is something lacking in my own artistic development or my practice. And, you know, I've talked about my struggles with perfectionism in the past, and this was kind of helping me loosen up. So I definitely had some stuff to learn from her. Oh, that's pretty. Once we got started, we kind of both got into the flow of creating, and that's when we started to enjoy our time more. Oh, no. No, not yet. I like this color. You like that? I like that. You want to switch? Yeah. Oh, 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 that's fun. I really like that. You can like draw a sun. Yeah. Like a circle, huh? It really isn't about the art you're creating sometimes. That's one big thing that I learned. Um, sometimes the process is enough. And the end result is kind of irrelevant. Hi, were you just thinking you'd like to sign up for my newsletter? I thought so. Go ahead and click the link in the description so you can get updates from me in your email. Also, subscribe to the channel and like this video if you're enjoying. Now, back to your regular scheduled content. Oh, that was that was going again. Yeah. That was going well. That's really good. I like this circle.
You work over here a little bit. There's nothing over there. Okay, hey, you. If you want to scooch. I tried to point out things that I liked about the painting we were making, at least as much for myself as for Ava. That's actually something I've been trying to do when I work on my solo art, especially in my sketchbook. You have to leave some of my stuff. Do you need to rinse your brush? No. no. Then we ran into the issue of Ava painting over every mark I was making. She was not very open to suggestions as a collaborator, and that was a teachable moment for me. Uh, I had to decide in the moment how to handle teaching her to collaborate better, and I was definitely not successful at first. Why do you keep painting over what I think you should paint I found this nut in the floor and I decided to use it to make some textures on the painting. Something I would never have done if I wasn't working with Ava. <gasps> yeah! She did really inspire me to think outside the box and use different materials than I normally would. It's really good. Oh, that's a great idea. Alright, after this, we're going to let it dry. No, we're not! She was enjoying the process so much, she didn't want to stop painting. <laughs> we actually used that entire strip of paint. Those little pots were empty by the end of this video. But I could see the paint getting muddy, and I wanted to try to, you know, preserve something of what we had put in there. But then I decided to make some scratchy marks in the paint. And I wanted them to stay there and not get painted over. You can do some scratchy things. So I had to figure out ways to redirect her so that I could do that and show her different places to paint on the painting instead of painting over what I was painting. Which was a little frustrating, to be honest. And um, she actually got frustrated with me when I was redirecting her and like kind of protecting my space. But collaboration is hard for artists of any age. You have to let go of your vision and and kind of have a collective vision. We had very different visions of what a completed painting looks like, for instance. I was really feeling like, you know, we needed to stop, let it dry. Are we gonna let this dry now? Let's dry it. Okay. okay. But Ava had a different okay. opinion. She and was still enjoying show. painting yeah. and she didn't want to stop. That's what toddlers okay. know. They're having fun, they want to keep having fun. But me as an artist, yeah. I was ready to call this done. But I kept following her lead because that was the point of this experiment for me, you know? So that ended up being a good thing for me, just to follow the lead of my daughter instead of controlling the artwork. got some scratch marks in. I got Ava to leave some of them <laughs> and um, I decided to call the painting finally. Like I knew she would never be done and I kind of was like it's gotta end at some point and I kind of like 
it to be soon. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. It's dry. Oh, we can oh. keep working on it, but it needs to dry right now. No, it's not. It's gone too. <laughs> And then everyone's reason for not doing things like this with their toddler oh, happened. But you know, it really was not I'm a big deal to clean up. Oh no! Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Come on. Uh oh. Do it. Alright, stand right here. Stay right here. I want the glitter. I know. Let me get the hair dryer and dry our painting. Ava couldn't resist the temptation of continuing to paint just a little bit. As I open the glitter, I am just thinking, well, this glitter will probably be with me in my casket. It just seems to stick around, guys. Where does it go? How will it end up on my scalp? Or in my eye? Or in my food? I don't know, but I know it will. Oh, Ava. I know, but you can't just dump the glitter everywhere, okay? It will be here for the next few years. I want this. I want this. I want this. I want this. Please give this to you. Please give it to me. Okay. Look. that she was done guys she was ready to eat lunch and forget the painting forget it any final thoughts on your painting no. okay i took it outside to admire it in the sunshine later I don't know. Did we make fine art? Uh, comment and let me know what you think. I like all the textures we created. Uh, the paint quality is obviously not very good, but it looks pretty cool to me. And it's so shiny. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're not already, 
please subscribe, like, comment. Love to hear from you. See you next time. Bye-bye.